Welcome back to another episode of We Are in the Jungle Camp. And uh, we are going to continue on our little journey through the jungle, of course. Um, and trying to get all of the parts of Kalim. But this is the overarching mission. I think that... Hmm. Yeah, it might be... Like other things. Uh, that we can do. Quest wise whatever I just want to talk to all of the other characters right now the problem is to just forget that they exist because they're like oh on this other little patch here okay uh, does he have anything to say about that gold bird your foolish quest made little sense to me but now I see the value of your actions I believe you do possess great wisdom mm-hmm Ashira? Well, she's a tough-talking mage, but I'd wager she's never faced true evil. Pampering drunken mercenaries is one thing, but standing face-to-face -face with a Hellspawn demon is another. <coughs> Isn't it kind of the same thing? Ah, there As we go. As I told you before, I placed an enchantment upon the dark side in order to keep the demons at bay. But lately, the enchantment seems to be weakening. If memory serves me correctly, there is a holy Skatsimi blade that could revitalize the enchantment. The blade is called the Gidman. Find it, and our sanctuary here will remain safe. Alright, find the Gidman, save the world. Hmm. Within the temple city stands a tower built long ago by the Horatran to imprison them. Well... You'll discover more about it soon enough. Hmm. Welcome to Korast. Ah, there we go. The Blade of the Old Religion. This is the one that we are going for. In the Flying Jungle. Oh, same thing as this one. So you seem to, uh, like, finish two missions always at the same time. Very interesting. Also, I... Um, read through some of the recipes uh, that are that are available to you, and most of them always need like sockets already. Uh, but you can turn an item into a socketed one if you have. Was it a normal one? Was it? Uh, I have to. Like the thing is, I just see socket da 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 da. Put some gems on it, and then we are going to brute force the thing. And see what happens. This is a much better way of doing it than reading through the whole thing. Because there's too much text. And I don't like text. Um, I'm a more picture kind of guy. <coughs> so, alright. I s would still need some of these... Um, uh, some weapons that I would actually be able to wield. Like, all of this is like 60 and 50 and whatnot. Like, none of them are somewhere in the ballpark uh, well I would say that I can use those kind of thingies alright let's see because um, I do have to say that using this Falcon though its damage is high and everything will get me into great trouble in the future so let's see I am looking for yeah, an item like this. I want to use uh, this stuff. The problem is it like 41. Hmm. Actually, nah. Hmm. I would need three level ups in order to make that work. But at least then I would be able to use those skives. Okay. Um, let's see. <clears throat> crossbows. Yeah, why not? Why don't we just uh, focus on crossbows, though? Problem is, again... The requirement for the level. What about that one? Attack rating and chance to cast Firebolt on attack. Ooh! A deadly dirk of Firebolt. Now that sounds cool. Fast attack speed though. Not very fast. Sadly. Uh, don't we have like uh, weapons that have... That one has very... Slow attack speed. What? How can it be that there are claws that have very slow attack speed? Goodness gracious. How can there be a weapon of that kind? Why would you even want that? I mean, I, I think it only works if you boost your uh, attack speed up a little bit. Like, you, you have to offload 
an awful lot. Like, if you have a slow weapon, you need to make yourself faster. If you have a fast weapon, uh, then you need to boost your damage. So you always uh, need to balance it out a little bit. But none of that seems to be, like, a nice way of doing things, to be honest. That's the thing. Do I want to buy that? I mean, Firebolt on attack is kind of cool and everything. Yeah, let's let's just buy that and see what happens. <clears throat> so, uh, our damage is like... 40. Cool. Is it on hit or on, on attack? Okay. Not in town. Damn it. I can't do that in town, though. Sadly, sadly, sadly. So, do I have another one? That is normal attack. <coughs> hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I could try to change uh, the maze here, right? Yeah. Let's try to change uh, that maze with the Horatra Q. So, uh, any three... Let's say this one, this one, which of those two I have a lot of. Uh, and maybe another one of those. So, you right-click that thing. Uh, you put this stuff in, and then all of a sudden it... I think this is the wrong thing to do, but who cares? Actually, no. Let's turn the maze into that. Ha! Perfect. Okay, so we have a maze that can be socketed now. Um, so, how do we continue that? The thing is, it re-rolls it and it sockets it at the same time, which is quite nice. Fire resistance as well. Fast attack speed, sure. Hmm. What if we do this? Nothing. Okay. So you cannot uh, turn a, let's call it a rare item and turn it into a socket one. So what if we uh, like re-socket this again? We re-roll it basically. Ch uh, chance to cast level 5 fireball? Yes! Ah, uh, nice. We are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Now I just need to put a nice socket on it and I'm happy. Um, strength. Eh, no, wait a minute. This is a tech rating. So, these go down here. And this one goes down there. So, what else do we have? Uh, lightning damage is cool and all. Lightning damage again, but this is more... Like, it's always 1 to 14. Like, it's if either nothing or all of it. 20... 10, okay. 1 to 8. What about this one? Attack rating, no. Fire damage, yes. 5 to 8 fire damage, yeah, why not? Most of the time we deal poison damage, but uh, we shouldn't care that much about it. Also, the undead, we don't attack that often. Uh, attack rating. Wait a minute, I can turn one of those. Um, gems into a higher tier one. I just need three of them, right? So, what happens if I turn this into a higher one? Like... Hey! We got another one. So... Now we got another poisonous thing. Mm. So, let's turn these into a better form of it. Nice, nice, nice. Um, then... Let's take those three for lightning. And make them even better. Perfect. Um, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I like the queue. So. One, two, three. Wait, this is 60. And then I one, two, three. And bam, 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 bam. Okay, you can only uh, transmute stuff um, that actually works interesting very interesting indeed so uh, that's the first stage <clears throat> and let's just uh, transmute all of the fire ones bam so do I have another one yes and fire goes in here and more fire, of course. Why not? Bam! Yeah, 8 to 12 fire damage. Now, this is what I'm talking about. 
Hmm, but lightning is instant, isn't it? Now, uh, this is uh, a medium damage of 10. And this would be a uh, medium damage of, uh, well, 11.5. Hmm, 10 or 11.5. And then, of course, they burn continuously afterwards, which is pretty sweet. So, let's place that down here. What about this one? Uh, damage to undead. Well, it's just undead. Let's not fuse them together. Like, these can be my uh, socketing slots. And, oh, cold damage. Yes, we also have cold damage. Sure. Let's uh, fuse them together. And see. Like, the uh, cold damage is slightly lower, but the bonus effect on this one is actually the slow. This is what makes it so good. Mm. Alright, that goes down there. That's the in-between here afterwards. It's still poisonous. Um. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, and more poison over here. I could just deal more poison on this one. <laughs> like, 40 poison damage over 4 seconds, which is 10 poison damage a second. Um, but if I'm uh, attacking fast, then I think I should go for, like, uh, this thing here. Also, what happens if I, like, have all of those chipped skulls? And also, why haven't I found any more of those chipped skulls? It seems as if it's only the assassin that's able to find chipped skulls. <coughs> because I, just, I haven't found any of them. Uh, which is weird. Also, you can cycle through all of those uh, runes here, which is weird. Um, like, they have a level all the time, uh, and I think they always go into... Uh, or they, uh, they turn into a rune of the slightly higher level also. So what I need to do is, like, uh, quickly get all of these runes out of this rune page here. At least uh, as many as I can. Uh, that one we can place over here, and, um, okay, uh, we don't care about that that much, uh, that one can be equipped. So, now we have uh, a little bit more room, uh, okay, and so let's just uh, throw that in here, do some uh, management. This is usually something that you do, like, uh, at the end of the video, but for some reason I'm more interested in doing it now. <coughs> so. Okay. Uh, there's sadly no auto sword function. So, 13 goes up here. Uh, 11 goes up here. Uh, 15 is this one. Mm, 11. 11. Uh, 13. 19. 17, this would be 19, that's 30. Uh, what's this? Another 13, another 13, another 11, another 13, another 17, another 15, 13, 13, 15, 19, 15, 19, 11, 11, 15, 13, 19, 11. Alright. So, I would say that, um, yeah, there are, like, two kind of runes, uh, for every, for every level, it seems. Okay, wait a minute. Um, let's, let's make two rows, uh, for each specific kind of rune here. Okay, so this is the 11 uh, level rune, and then it goes on and on and on and on and so on. Um, interesting. Mana after each kill, sure. Damage to undead bonus, sure. Attack rating bonus, sure. Nice, but... Uh, uh, what else we have? Weapons, plus 9 to maximum damage. That would actually be good, like the if rune. Um, wait. I place this one at the wrong slot here. That's 17. Poison damage over 5 seconds. 5 seconds, not 4 seconds as usual. And a bonus of fire. So either you get those gems uh, or you get these things. And also, uh, in order to turn some of these runes into a higher level, the, the, the highest ones uh, need even higher uh, runes and whatnot. So that's a bit iffy. Oh no, I don't want to. 
don't want to go into the shared stash. That is so stupid. Um, let's withdraw all of that and deposit like... Alright, so... Perfect, perfect, perfect. And... Yeah, wait a minute. The Nephroon goes to the... Left. Okay, and this is an F rune and an if rune. Let's place that over here, this one over there. And there's only one of this kind. Okay, now we have the uh, these thingies sorted out. <coughs> hmm. Let's let this uh, stay here for a moment. Put this in here. Our damage is at 65. And we can continue in the Great Marsh. Okay, 66. Last time around, it was somewhere in the uh, 70 or 90s, at least, if I was in bear form, I think. But that should do it right now. That should do it. Uh, wait. Fast attack speed, yeah. <clears throat> Doesn't feel fast to me. Maybe it's the very fast that I need, but at least it's not, like, standing still. Ah, thank goodness. Ah, damn it, I should have placed the eye in... Ah, stash. Therefore, your attacks are a little bit slower, which is weird. Like, it does not say that your attacks are suddenly slower, but it just ends up happening. You could just go into... Werewolf form is dead. Have much faster attack speed. Only problem is, like, the bonus health is, like, not that high. That? No, this is not the way forward. Yeah, maximum stamina goes up. Wait a minute, what about this one? This one does not do anything with the stamina. Interesting. <coughs> hmm. Much, much better. Uh, wait a minute. Like, I am in the Great Marsh, like there's <coughs> supposed to be another way forward. Uh, not through here though. That's also not it. Not what I was trying to get. Damn it. <sighs> this was the dead end. I totally forgot about that. Oh, large charm, yes. I think I picked up an identification scroll. So, what we got? Bonus strength. Yeah, why not? <laughs> hey, look at this. 28 is the base value. I can only deal that much damage because of the strength. It's so, so strange. Okay, now how do we continue on here? That's the thing. This way. Ah, there we go. Finally, found the way. Um, on the well, we have to go further to the northwest. Ah, flyer drummer. 
because that all flying here. Wing nightmares. Isn't this trooper supposed to eat some of these bodies now? Why is not not doing it? What? Death takes a stall of 10,655 gold. Wow. I have to go all the way back. Thank you. Not cool. Okay. Three, four, five, and... Okay, and onwards. Eh? Where's my- Oh! I can't turn into a wolf or a bear at the moment because I... <coughs> lost my helmet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> well, that happens. Okay. Death in this game is unforgivable. Absolutely. So, now I got all of my stuff back at least. They said 10,000 and... You do lose all of your gold. Yeah, great. This is why you should always put all of your stuff into the stash, just in case. Unbelievable. To improve the armor here a little bit more, like 50, nice and all, but <clears throat> need to place more points into strength for this. Yeah. Okay, inventory is almost full. Perfect. Suck it at the crossbow. Just need yes. to go to the mercenaries and well a minute. Um is this a good bow? Maybe fast attack speed bonus fire. It could be. Let's keep this one. See what we can do with it. Damn it. I did want to sell the potion. I need my archer. Greetings. There we go. <coughs> so, how much damage does he do? 8 to 19, okay. The thing is, her gear is so much better than mine. The defense is 310. My defense is 
120. Great, absolutely great. And this is also the reason why I die so much. Uh, like the uh, every chance soul killer shaman will hit you five percent. Okay, that's very low. Chance of blocking is also like strangely low. But this bow can be sold now. Uh, there we go. Does he have crossbows? No. None of that sort. Kind of missing the very fast attacks. Like even fast attacks. Look at this. Bam. Fast. This is supposed to be fast attack speed. Really? No. This is everything but. <laughs> This is not fast the text bit. So is that one better? A hundred and Ooh yes. I am gonna give her that uh thing image here. Yeah? I can't use that yet. Why not? Oh her strength values aren't high enough. Okay, so she needs to level up once more, I think. Twice ish. Very interesting. First time that the companion needs to level up in order to use an item. <clears throat> it's actually not a good sign. Ooh, nice rune, yes. takes for those wolves to kill those enemies. It's ages. <coughs> bam, bam. Nah, it's kind of two hits already, which is priority targets is all right. Makes this superior. Uh, because this one has enhanced defense. Okay. Maximum durability. Nah, it's not the durability. If it has these enhanced values, this is what makes them superior. Maybe the giant uh, great axe also has a enhanced damage. Yeah, if there's an enhanced variable on it, then that's what makes them superior. Okay. So you can kind of infer the uh, effect because of the name, but only this specific name, not just any name. Though. Maybe you can infer it by the name of fire or something like that. Wait, creep crossbow, how much is that? 30. I need to improve my minimum values for this, otherwise I'm not going to get any crime here. To boost my strength value. Uh. that takes up all of your slots in your inventory. Ah. Let's see, can I take that? No. If I'm using it might be a good idea, we don't get anything from it. Yeah. 
Come on, kill him. This one? <coughs> These are not slime princes. These are like toads. Uh, She should be, yes, full right now. Good, 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 good. Bam, bam, bam. I can't carry anymore. Of course you can't. Of course you can't. So, okay, so this one seems to be the way forward or something like that. Or there is just a uh, hidden niche here. Yeah? Potions back in there again. So we can get all the healing. All the mana. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep that armor piece with us. Mm, goes down here, and uh, that's uh, 15 ruins, so it's there. <clears throat> ah, can't kill it quick enough. So annoying. Oh, yes, we got the waypoint for the flyer jungle. That's nice. So either this is the way forward. Might be. Or this is just one of those side pieces. Uh, yep, this. Wait a minute. The swampy pit. No, this is just some uh, random dungeon thingy. As the enemy gets killed, uh, I can heal decently, but somehow I don't get those bonuses. The heal of the creeper is not high enough. Um, that might be one of the reasons why I don't feel so safe right now. The heal is not high enough, therefore I don't engage it aggressively as I want to. So I have to change it a bit. Yeah, use the potion. Just uh, use the potion. <coughs> okay. They're in dire need of higher defenses. Absolutely. Was that a very fast thing? Yes! Very fast. I dig that. Okay, this level two. Wait. <clears throat> two side rooms here. Not that important though. Okay. Let's quickly explore the rest of that. I mean, we can use the waypoint in order to get to the uh, exit again. It's just that there might be a chest somewhere. Or it's just on the lower levels. You know. Ooh, 
like crossbow, yeah, why not? And more. I can't carry anymore. Feels so strange. No, the hmm. fast attack speed, my ass. How come this thing is fast? <clears throat> hmm. It's a very good weapon. What about my stats? Nah, I just I just need tons of stuff. Um, tons of it. Hello. So what about this one? Lifestone per hit. Yeah. Ah, uh, the damage is like almost the same. Damage to one dead attack riding against something. But it has very fast, right? For some reason, the damage is lower and lower and lower right now. Ay, 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 ay. But life stolen per hit. That could be very useful. Uh, let's take that. Uh, so, what about this one? Uh, cold arrow. So, so many charges. How do you, like... Yeah, what happens? Uh, can you can you recharge that? Good evening. Uh, recharge that. Repair that. Who do I need to talk to in order to repair things? Um, probably the smith. There. Let's see. If I repair this, do I get more charges back? Like, repair all equipment. Repair this. Yes. Ah, nice. So, the only problem is you can only use this 33 times and then poof, it's gone. Um, let's just throw that out. It's a nice crossbow though. So my inventory is uh, almost clean. Up, nope. uh, this one goes up here. Hmm. It's all about the attack speed and probably the points I need to spend in uh, in strength, so I don't get killed too many times. Like <clears throat> this only increases my like vitality and stuff. And I think I already have decent amounts. Uh, it's just that my defense values, because of the armor and everything, are kind of lacking. And uh, in order to get higher defense values, I need either higher luck in order to find better items, which is difficult to do, or uh, I'm just increasing the minimum requirements, or like the 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 the, uh, the stat that I have here, in order to reach like minimum requirements whatsoever, like this 40 or whatnot. <coughs> so that I can kind of um, equip better stuff. So, now that we're at 40 though, um, still don't know what to do with that. That's the thing. Because we didn't get more defensive with it. Alright, down the pit though. Let's hope it's only uh, two levels. Now this is an attack speed I need. Ah yes, finally. That's what I'm talking about. There's only one attack speed in this game that's good, and it's a very fast attack speed. Anything else you should reconsider. Skype again have yeah 41 points. But unnecessary. Ah, I should have kept the experience. Should have kept the experience, but come on, go and be killed. Oh, so much better. Oh, 
though it might still take the same amount of time for me to kill the enemies, right? In terms of uh, damage per second, it is more responsive. Uh, so that if I would miss an enemy by being too far away from them, I can just reposition myself afterwards. And then everything is fine again. That is uh, the benefit of a high attack speed. Not necessarily the fact that you... Well, attack faster or do more damage. But the responsiveness, that's it. So much more. Bam, bam. But you could try to play this uh, maybe a bit more tanky uh, if you just focus on pure strength and use mana as a uh, side thingy, I would say. That could work. Okay, what about this level of requirement? 48. Um, actually, that could work. 81. Uh, I'll put that to good use. Uh, slightly different. Okay. So then, onwards. How many more swampy pits are there? I mean, three has to be the last one. So let's quickly check out that root over here. Yeah. It's so problematic that you can't get bucked by the enemy. Reason you can get killed so quickly. I am really? Already? <coughs> Greetings. Again, I think I'm overdoing it uh, yes. with collecting all of the items. Um, I should only focus on the good stuff here. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. The eye uh, is one of those, like, quest-related items. And this thing here needs a full tomb of scrolls uh, for a tome, tome, a tome, not a tomb, a tome. Where do I place this one? Over oh, here. And there doesn't seem to be, like, uh, another thing that you need for that. So let's just get that, uh, boost our health with it. And we are lucky. Good. Good to go. More health, more banter. Ah, I can see uh, our reward again. Ooh, and another reward, yes. So there seems to be a, uh, a, a chest room and a money room. Okay, uh, let's take these. <clears throat> like there is something. Oh, okay. <coughs> it was just my wolves. <sighs> right. Was something that I didn't really care that much about. Money on the other hand is. Oh, wait. What about the saber? Oh, 
Ah, fast attack, but not very fast. That thing can be thrown out. Actually, the light belt too. I, mean, I don't need that. Same goes for that one. Oh, wait. Um, I want to compare it uh, with the gold for each potion value. I think it was 50 the last time around. Nice. Fast attack again. That's so weird. Like, dexterity seems to be only uh, an option for very offensive characters. Or for characters that for some reason aren't able to hit the enemies correctly. If you have very low accuracy, for example, then that means you need more dexterity in order to hit the enemy with your weapons. It has nothing to do with the abilities, necessarily. So that's just a thing. Like you need vitality, otherwise you die. You need strength, uh, because uh, otherwise you can't use uh, gear the way you should. Okay, now this thing is done for. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Good day. Hello. Alright, 9 to 29. Decent, but two handed. Go. Uh, nah, this one can also. Oh, very fast. Yes. Oh, actually, yes. It only needs dexterity. Oh, what a, what, what a cool blade. So this is a sale value of a hundred and... Oh shit, I did not look at the prices for the other ones. So this is a hundred, this is a hundred and eighty. So... This should be at seventy sale value. Which means uh, it... Uh, it's a bit too costly right now. Well, like... It's too costly to pick it and to, to have it in my inventory. You know? So, wait. Uh, just all of it. Just throw everything in there. <clears throat> If we need to buy anything, um, we can just take the money from the stash because this is the only area that has merchants in it. So any m amount of money in our uh, inventory here is just uh, wasted if we get killed. Let's remember that. <laughs> okay, so we don't need to go to the swamp pit. Um, the flyer jungle was actually supposed to be the next thing. Uh, not a flare jungle, but de 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 de. look for the git bin. Yeah, in the flare jungle. Um, that's the thing that I wanted to do, but for some reason I just can't find it. So let's just have a little look around. If we can maybe find another entrance to one of those caves. Sure. Hmm. Oh, wait, uh, maybe I need a bit more damage like that. At some point, I stop, yeah, exploring. Now it comes. Now it comes. Boom. There we go. Ah, no. Wait. No, wait a minute, this one has no chance of summoning a fire. I was wondering then the fire spell is supposed to be used, but this was the other dagger. Oh, this is stupid. Yeah, it still goes on. Oh. Ah, there. I hear the corpse explosion, but I don't necessarily feel the heal yet.
Light plated boots. Nah. <clears throat> I was wondering what the name light actually means for this item, but there are no bonus steps on it. Does this uh, spirit boost what um, radius so and so much? Uh, okay, maximum life gets boosted. Attack rating and damage get bo gets boosted. Okay. <clears throat> as long as uh, the wolves stay alive, then that means we can need more health. This is basically what we use in order to know if you should switch uh, spirits or not. Because right now, it basically means that uh, they're not dying, therefore they don't need more health, right? We don't see the health force as a value that needs to be maximized, uh, but more a value that needs to be at a certain point. Uh, high enough so we don't die, but not high... Uh, like... Uh, not necessarily higher so that we waste precious points also, or that we would waste damage output, or like that. Why is this creeper not almost doing his thing? Come on. Do in... Do heal. Come on. Heal me, creeper. Hey, finally. We got ourselves another level up. Perfect. So... <coughs> hmm. As I said, I need more of those strength points, right? <sighs> okay, but I'm gonna just spend them afterwards. Right, so... um, I want the poison creeper to deal more damage. On the other hand, uh, it would also be nice to have the wolves be a bit more potent. So... Attack rating and defense. Yeah, that's great. This one boosts life. How much do the wolves do at the moment? Like it's 15 to 19, 13 to 18. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a better creeper. Why not? Why not? See the pose. Oh, the poison. The poison. Uh, see everything poison. I want to see the creeper dead uh, as well. Okay. 
think we're getting closer to a all oh, interesting area. Okay, how much damage is that? Uh, I think it's the wolves that actually killed. Good. So, of course, the spear is not fitting. Hey, nice. Lower curse. Uh -huh. okay, do I need more? Oh, green potions are good. Just want to explore the northwestern section here. Yeah, there's still a little bit of emptiness. And we got it. All right. Look for the git bin in the flyer jungle. It said flyer jungle. We are in the flyer jungle. If I would switch to another area, then I would I definitely not have that one anymore. But the lower curse probably has a waypoint for us, right? Whoa. Light healing? Yeah, alright. Now I need to teleport back a little bit. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, waypoints. Uh, yeah, lower Kuros is the next one, but the Flare Jungle yes. is uh, where the item is supposed to be. Okay, uh, do I have a one handed thing like. Oh, 43. This could be the one. <clears throat> uh, slightly. This could be the one. This is six. Yeah, they could take a while until I can use this one. Hmm. Normal attack speed. Yeah, very fast attack speed. Well, I could use that one right now. Except that it is not just that, not that useful. Chance to cast level four charge bolt when struck. Mm -hmm. Life stolen per hit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. So every time I hit something, I get four percent life. So the faster I hit, the better. Well, the more life I have, the more I can get back. That's a nice ring. We keep that one. Mm. Uh, it's also a nice gem. Mm, nice gem. And the rest can be sold, basically. Yes. Deposit all of it. <clears throat> hmm. Now, I would definitely lose out on some defense values from that one. But would it be that important? Actually, no. What is this? Chance to cast amplify damage on striking. It repairs your ability, which is also great. It's just. Yeah, come on, we use this thing now. Let's just hammer them to... No, wait. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh. But knockback is a good idea. Okay, 40 flame. Mm. Perfect. That should do it. Wait a minute, what about the damage? Yeah. <laughs> Attack rating goes down dramatically, like now it's a 65. Now it's 73. Wait, why is the attack writing all of a sudden so strange? This one has no bonus on attack writing. Doc. Ah, 78. And this uh, one only has 10, so. Let's uh, place that one back in here. Let's see. Our damage should be a little bit higher right now. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. <sighs> <clears throat> but I still need to find that git bin thing. Um, it could be that I just haven't found it in this um, pit area somehow. I think it is in the pit area. I was just not good enough to find it. That might be it. That might be it. 
Um, but lower Kurast. I don't know where the waypoint for that one is. Like lower Kurast. Kind of sounds as if it's uh, the name of a. It is a village, yeah. So let's just go back and forth a little bit. Can we find a waypoint somewhere? We can find a campfire, yes. Enemies, yes. Healing potions, yes. Oh, by the way, uh, how much damage do we do now? 85. Mm. Decent. The thing is that you have to check every little hyzen. <laughs> ah. Because there are... Ah. Roofs on top of them. The roof, the roof. The roof should be on fire. It's just too much roof for this. <laughs> at least it's an open environment. It, it's. Oh. Yeah, at least it's an open environment. Where's the found it? Perfect. That's the one that I want. Mm, back to the flyer jungle. Hey. This one here, right? It has to be it. The get bin, the get bin, the get bin. Either this or it's just a random random thingy, but it went down three levels, right? Three levels. I would say that two levels is a normal dungeon, but three levels means that there's something special happening there. That's at least my understanding of it. Kitbin might not be at the uh, level 2, but maybe at the level 3 at the last one. So, um, if I would be that Kitbin. Um, I would be probably close to that uh, chest <coughs> somewhere. Hmm. And that was. No, this was the money room, wasn't it? Yeah. There's nothing get being in here. Not about the other stuff. Like belt, but we can sell it. Right now we do have a little bit of room left. Oh, more enemies, yeah. So. Last room in the corner doesn't have it. Um, there could be some kind of a hidden room in here that you have to uh, open up. I'm just getting attacked by some of those traps here, actually. Alright. Nah, uh, okay. Let's just go into this uh, room in the center here. That one. Seems to still be special. No. Nothing special there. Alright. What about the center part? Is some kind of a bridge? Hmm. Good to see you. <clears throat> Hello. Ooh, Frost Nova went struck. Oh, another one. Great. Five percent. So many Novas are getting triggered, but no, this is just a... Very, very bad kind of spell. Let's 
so I don't need to go to the swampy pit. Flyer jungle. Ah, maybe don't know. Hmm. There's supposed to be a sword Igitvin thingy somewhere in here. I don't think that you can find it in the open. Uh, I would say that I messed up looking around in these corners here because I was so focused on not dying. In the Gitvin uh, is no not here. Like it says it's in the flyer jungle, right? We are in the flyer jungle. Maybe I have missed a part. Great marsh, no. That's not it. to go in order to find that thing. The flare jungle basically just goes on forever. It's like an endless road forward. Onwards, 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 and whatnot. If there's a certain... Ah! Found it. Okay. This part here... That's where I need to go. Yeah. Ah, okay. City. Oh, little encampment. And that is it. Uh, that might be the kit. No. Uh, the Flyer Dungeons, level one. There's something straight. This is the kit bit. Ah, ha. Huh. Now what? Look for the kit bit in the Flyer. I found it. And the git bit, okay. Got it. So back to almost then. Very fast off. Oh. Exactly the weapon that I would need. It's kinda nice that even with bad luck, you are given quest-related items that you can use. They're pretty decent, actually. So, wait a minute. Uh, what about this one? In the Flyer Dungeon. Oh! Kalim's brain uh, is something... something else. So... Let's just finish this other mission. You have done well, noble hero. Ormus congratulates you. The old spirits of Skatsim will watch over you for returning their sacred blade. Now, after all these years, Ormus will once again use his powers to protect the innocent from the shadow. The spell that protects the dark side shall now be reinforced. Just like that. Hmm. Okay. So, potions are good for. Good, 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 good. Uh, that guy doesn't care that much. Talk to Ashira. Uh, Ashira. That is the mage. Now that fewer of the Iron Wolves are needed to guard the dark side, some of them have volunteered to accompany you free of charge. Free of charge? There is no free of charge in here. Um, or maybe what it means is you're given uh, one of those mercenaries if you still have an open slot. Um, yeah, because I had a mercenary still available to me. The thing is, there is no way to manage them, is there? Like you can't just put them on the side or like in a stash or something. Hmm. But yeah, having a. Uh, a mage would be nice, just because of this uh, AOE capability. Oh yes, AOE would be cool. Talk to Ormus again. Wait, wait. This magic <coughs> ring does me no good. Ooh. Here, wear it proudly. All right. And 
with that. We got it. Now, what is so special about that ring? Chance to cast a four charge bolt when struck. Yes. 12%. Yeah, let's put that one up here. It's basically a you can trigger everything at every point in time kind of build. <laughs> Alright, and the other one definitely goes into the Flayer Dungeon, which I kind of forgot to do. But for now, let's end this episode and continue with uh, one part of Kalim's will in the next. Till <laughs> then, like and subscribe. Ta-da.